Uh, let's get my next guest out. First, though, let's have a peek at his new show, which is wearing them over on BBC Two. <sighs> this kitchen is so hard to clean. If only there was an easier way. Hi, I'm Derek Bum. Say goodbye to daily stains and dirty surfaces with new kitchen gun. <laughs> this sink is filthy, but just three shots from kitchen gun. It sparkles like new. Look how it cleans this greasy hob. <laughs> Goodbye, dirt. Grubby tiles. <laughs> I love you, kitchen gun. <laughs> Rusty taps. <laughs> <laughs> you can even use it on the washing up. <laughs> there, all clean again. New kitchen gun, now with laser sight and night vision for after dark cleaning. <laughs> Please welcome Mr. Peter Sadovinovich. So come on, see the light on your face. Let it shine, just let it shine. Let it shine. Hey. You're a big, you're a tall fella. How, how tall are you, Peter? Uh, I'm 6'4". Uh, wow, that's pretty tall, isn't yeah. it? How tall are you? I'm less than 6'4". Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Peter, Peter, uh, I'm delighted to see you having your own show on television because I have enjoyed your comedy for years. I'm sure a lot of people will recognise you. I think I know him from other stuff because you've been in lots of other people's shows uh, in the last 10, 12 years. In, in yeah, the... I guess, something like that. I've yeah. seen you in Space, you were in the movie Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead, uh, yeah. Black Books you were in. Black Books. Look Around You, Look all these around shows. Look Around You, yeah. Uh, and finally, they have named a show after you. Yeah. Do you think uh, the reason it took so long is your name is so difficult to say? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't, can you, can you pronounce my name? I keep trying to, and it's a Peter Selfinovich. So, uh, so uh, Finovic, instead of in a witch. So I didn't really understand any of what you just said there. Um, how, how, how do you pronounce it? Uh, Serafinowicz is how I do it. Serafinowicz? Yeah. Well, Serafinovich. if you do it that way, then presumably that's right. Well, did your mum yeah. do it differently? <laughs> yeah, Serafinowicz. 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 OK. Right. Um, well, look, I'm glad it happened for you because I've always loved seeing you on TV. I've always... And, I, and I've Thanks, admired... Man. No, I've admired your talent very much indeed. Um, it wasn't an easy move, though, was it? I mean, they didn't come to you and say, we want you to do your own show. You kind of had to sell it yourself, is that right? Yeah, well, um, we, we, we made a, a little video um, that we stuck out on YouTube last year. It was, like a, it was like a sketch with me doing lots of impressions, and so, you know, I do impressions. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and uh, it, was like, it was like we did a little pilot that was on, that was on the internet. And so and you then, funded this yourself? Yeah. Well, that's a smart way of doing it. It's a pretty... Uh, yeah, but it, it, it only cost us like a couple of hundred dollars, because we were in America, you know, so... Uh, so yeah, a, a couple of hundred bucks, yeah. you know, and um, <laughs> that's the, that was the American accent. And uh, <laughs> one of the many accents that I, um, that I, that I do. Um, you do American very well. Yeah. I really enjoyed your interview with, uh, with Terry. Well, now, you're, this is when I first encountered Peter, was where I, I heard that this guy could do this great Terry Wogan, and it's a masterful impersonation. Thanks. Uh, now, were you a Wogan fan, or did you just realise you could do this? I've always been a Wogan fan. Who is it? <laughs> Who is it? Come on now. I, uh, I was watching him. I was watching him very closely there, in that interview. I wanted him to say to you, I like you, Ross. <laughs> you remind me of a slightly younger version of me. <laughs> <laughs> However, you are one cheeky fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Was on. That's I really did. Uh, but but what a remarkable! Had, had you met him before this evening? No, I've I've always been too um, too shy. I've, I've, I've seen him, um, but uh, I've always been too shy to, uh, to to introduce myself. I mean, he's a, he's a leg You know, he's yeah. a legend. Yeah, had he seen you? Because the first time I saw you doing the Wogan impersonation was for Comic Relief a few years back. That's right. Yeah. And it was a, just a what a great cast of people. There, Simon Pegg was joining in on this. David yeah. Williams. Just about everyone who was yeah. In. My, my girlfriend Sarah Alexander was was in it playing Lisa Goddard, and we wrote it. It was actually me and Sarah and James, who's my brother. We three of us wrote it. There's your brother James. He writes uh, the show with you. He writes the show. I mean, we have uh, there are some other writers as well, but yeah, we, we, we mainly write it together. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you about um, some of the other jobs you've done uh, before we talk about your other TV shows, because uh, another time when I, I bumped into Peter and it was a bizarre circumstances was when they started making the Star Wars movies again, because Peter is sort of in the Star Wars films, but, but well, not quite. I'm not quite. sort of, I am in the Star Wars films. But physically you're not in Physically, them. no, but I mean, uh, no. So you're not actually in them, is what I'm saying. Well, people, yeah, 
yeah. You have a presence. Yeah, I have a presence. But, uh, yeah, I, I do the voice for Darth Maul. Darth Maul, is Yeah, man. I mean, that was just the, the most exciting thing that had ever happened to me. Well, you were a Star Wars point. fan before yeah, you got... of course, got the... okay. of course. Because you're that kind of age. You grew up with those yeah, movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, you know, I, I would have been excited... Uh, I, you know, just the fact that they were making another Star Wars movie yeah, yeah. was just totally exciting anyway. And then to be in it, and then to be also doing the, the voice of the baddie in the yeah, film. Yeah. You know, because I was such a, a massive fan of um, James Earl Jones. And, and James Earl uh, Jones was Darth Vader. Darth course, Vader, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, did you audition for the part? Yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. And, and what did, uh, did you meet George Lucas when you auditioned? Yeah, yeah. He, and, you know, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen any... any um, like any of those behind the scenes documentaries where they do voices like for a, you know usually you sit in the booth and then the director will sit outside with the guy in the mixing desk and stuff you know but for this George Lucas was sit, sat in the like next to me in the booth I've got headphones on and he's just sat next to me so like George Lucas you that know. must be quite cosy isn't it? yeah yeah it was quite cosy you know and uh, it was it was terrifying you know and he I, I said to him George was that was that okay? You know, and he was like, you know, just just make it make it sound evil, just, just a little bit more evil. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Did he did he any stage? We do. Did he go? Oh. <laughs> 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 um, there was one bit where uh, I did a, I did an impression. I did my impression of Darth Vader, which. Um, I could do now if there's a glass. You need if anyone a glass has, a, or... has a pint glass. Yeah. Oh, great. Fantastic. Okay. I mean, go. I said a pint, but... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is TV. That is a pint glass. <laughs> Here at the BBC, yeah. you know the way we bend the truth. That's a pint glass, all right? <laughs> this is how you do it if, you want, if, you're a, if you're a kid and you want to, want, to, want to do this. You get the pint glass, then you bring it to your mouth, and you can hear that you're already sort of halfway there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the key to doing it, where well, you do a bit of a... <laughs> And then you do a line that's like not like one of the obvious lines, but like sort of one of the sort of more boring lines from the show, from the film, which is like, uh, "They must have hidden the plans in the escape pod." Do you know what do you know, having insider knowledge of Star Wars, now, do you know if he, he did do it with a pint glass when he was actually doing the voice acting? I don't know, actually, no. Sorry. <laughs> but you see, I think you could use this for Elephant Man as well, couldn't you? <laughs> don't look at me like that. Pretend I've got no. a mask on with one eye. I thought you did the face, sorry. <laughs> You know why he was called the Elephant Man? Didn't no, you? were you? No, 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 I won't. I won't say because it's a family show. But um, <laughs> so because um, <laughs> you don't do about... those sort of jokes on this well, show. We've I got know, Terry so. the Schlong Wogan on the show. <laughs> you can yes. be the Elephant Man. Oh, you're a bad man, Ross. <laughs> He's packing that. Do you see that? He's packing yes. the action down there. He's got. I, th I saw that point of view. I, I thought that was the mailbag. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a lot of letters this week. <laughs> um, hey, uh, lovely to see you. I want to show another clip before we go. This is uh, another clip of Peter in action in the Peter says in Peter's own show on BBC. <laughs> Martin, Martin, that was, that was absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm in bits here, I really am. But what did the judges think? Martin, Martin. <laughs> um, you've surprised me. <laughs> that was the best performance we've ever had on the show. <laughs> I'd even go as far as to say that you have the best singing voice <laughs> I've ever heard. You've done Wales proud, and more importantly, you've done yourself proud. However, you are a um. Right, thank you, Simon, but, uh, you know, I, I don't think the audience agree. Well, they wouldn't agree because they're
Mr. Peter Salovinovich, ice cream by name, if you can get your mouth out of it. Peter Salovinovich. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank 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 you.